we are here. Thank you for allowing us into your reality again. Hello, Shikana. Hello. Thank you for recognizing us. Yes, I've been uh, looking forward to your love vibration. <laughs> Thank you for feeling us. And we appreciate your love for us. It is being felt and it is being shared and spread it around. So we understand you have questions prepared for us. Right. Yes, that's correct. As we um, as we've connected a few times now through the channel, um, what what I'd like you to do is uh, to explain what you represent, what sort of collective consciousness you are, and anything else that would be uh, relevant uh, to do with that, please, for everybody. All right. Thank you. I represent here as a member society of hybrids that is in your future, in parallel reality, called Sasani, living on the planet Sasani. We are in this moment blending several time periods. We are as has been shared synchronized with your ascension from the third to fourth density. And we are at the same time transitioning from the fifth into fifth density. So you can relate to us as to Shikani as well, which is how our civilization is identifying themselves, ourselves as after the transition. So you may feel, you may perceive that the transition has already occurred for you and for us. We are in a new co-created co reality. And we are sharing that excitement and expansion that we feel we are sharing that with you it may feel overwhelming for those of you who are sensitive but i encourage you to allow it we encourage you to let yourself expand and don't be afraid of your greatness of your immenseness. You are infinite, indeed. You wish us to expand on some details.
Yes, in relation to myself, I understand as well that I would be, part of me would be in this uh, fifth dimensional uh, realm. Uh, I'd like to, to expand on this new co-created reality between us. Yes. Yeah. We know that it may seem very similar to what you have been experiencing before. But the more you notice the differences, the more you allow the transition to be reflected. And then differences at times may seem as for some of you now overwhelming, yet at other times you seem to forget how different you are. You seem to devalue the growth that you have undergone. You are at times unwilling to let go of what you have been. Because of the fear of your power, really. Because of the fear of how big you are, you rather stay small. But we encourage you to give in, to dive in, to sink in, to let yourself feel the reality of what you are, who you are. You are the dimension. And we are here to gently take you by your hand. and lead you into who you are. You specifically have agreed before you have incarnated. that you will participate in this transition actively, which you are doing now. This is your gift to humanity. This is your gift for yourself, to yourself. This is how important you are. 
facilitate it. For those around you. And for the whole collective. For which you are open to. as a single being that you are opening for others to perceive that co-create with you. Wow, I'm really feeling that. That's the... Uh just what I've been experiencing at the moment. Yes, the pressure that you might feel, the caressing. We are caressing you, caring. with you, the heaviness, so that you may realize that you may lighten up and let it all fall into place. This love may stay with you. You may choose to stay in this state. Stay tuned to this state. There is nothing that can knock you off of it. There is nothing that, there is no one that can force you to stop loving, to stop knowing that you are loved. It is always your choice. Yes, I'm bringing uh, many experiences to myself, very many challenging experiences that are, that are showing me just that, yes. Um, I'm starting to recognize uh, the memories that I'm receiving uh, of my other selves. Um, they, they just keep popping in. I, I'm not putting too much emphasis on them. Um, I just like it to flow a little bit more. Would you be able to give me some more information um, and of some of my other incarnations that are relevant to the challenges uh, that I'm experiencing, please. All right. Well, first of all, we would like to emphasize that everything important for you, everything, all the information that you need, you already have. Everything that you are struggling with, you have chosen to start the struggle in this life. And yes, perhaps you are cross connecting to parallel instances of your life where you have struggled with the same struggles, perhaps even more in, in more amplified way. I, 
I, I feel mm. um, yes. I feel that strength is um, it's either uh, a, a life theme I have or it's just something that I'm experiencing at the moment. Um, and am I manifesting these challenging experiences to uh, experience this state of strength? Yes, very much so. And in your ability to be vulnerable, you will follow your chosen path of transforming and that is the theme that you have chosen for yourself transforming of weaknesses so to speak. Uh, thank you It is important that you realize that the greatest strength is in the lightest touch. Yes, you've, you've mentioned that to me before, but now it's... Uh the more I'm connecting with your energy, the more that I'm, uh, oof, that I just understand it all fitting together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for receiving this communication on other levels than just the linear word by word. We are sharing with you much more than is being seen and heard through this transmission. Are you, um, <laughs> you're talking about in my dreams? <laughs> yes, not only about your dream, we are talking about downloads that you are receiving while we are communicating with you now. Oh yes, I, d I definitely feel that. And, and remembrances of the dreams are your clues in what you are actually receiving. And the downloads I'm receiving every morning now is, is that um, part of the same thing as well yes and realize that we are not the only ones communicating with you there is <laughs> let's say there are packets of informations embedded interlinked and entangled together that are transferred to all of you at certain times, in certain places where you are more allowing, more open, like right now. Yes, um, definitely more connected. Uh, this moment that we're having um but i've done that uh, intentionally so um now that i know that the process that i've done to do that uh, i can see that's going to uh, to help me yes yes and um, allow yourself to alleviate the burden that you carry on your shoulders, allow yourself to lift off the weight from your shoulders, 
allow the energy to flow and realize the pain is the energy that comes through anyway. So let it go through. Yes, I do that. Very nice. Thank you. Drink a lot of pure water. That will help you to smooth out. Yes, water is my uh, my next subject. Um, I, I'm going to use the permission slip of using water and crystals and the moon energy. Uh, I'd like to know which crystals are the most suitable. And also, um, I mean, I live near the mountains and uh, we have a local water, a local bottled water. I'd just like to know, is there anything else that I'd need to do to it before I use it uh, and anything else that would be helpful to me in this <clears throat> process that I'll be doing. You are the strongest permissions list. Um, permissions. You are the strongest vortex in your reality. You are the strongest transformer. You don't really need crystals, but we perceive that Malachi might be helpful for you to have in your proximity as the amplifier of your energies, of your natural energy. And um, if you wish to purify the water with your intention, Focus on the water. Breathe in deeply while expanding your hands. Then let the water unlock from all realities. Let water unlock. You can use this gesture. And then project your own purity into the water. Then project the master crystal that you are into the water. And let it connect back to the surrounding. And that will give the water energy that no crystal will be able to give it. Yes, um, I, I know this process. And when you're saying before, is it um, a permission slip? Because I was in fact thinking of actually using that healing for others. Would that yeah. be more beneficial than for myself are you saying that the permission slips that i'm using and the ways that i've found um, that i can get myself back into alignment work for me um and this would probably work better because i've been having lots of thoughts about this of uh, doing it uh as a permission slip to help others for others to heal themselves Yes, of course you can share and you can facilitate healing the same way you are helping yourself. And it will not necessarily be stronger or better. Mm -hmm. 
depending on whether you do it on yourself or on others. Okay. It will be what everyone needs in the moment. So do not insist on the outcome and let yourself be inspired, bold, and use what you know, use what you can. If you know how to help, please do so. Yes, that's my intention. Thank you. Uh, I'd also like to know what I can do to crystallize my perfect state of being while eating. Can I have the same, uh, process of um, focus. Well, first of all, I do not judge yourself if you are eating something that you think is inappropriate. Realize that when you are doing something, you it has to be appropriate for the moment. It has to be the best you could do from that position. It doesn't mean it is the overall best you could do, but it is the best of you in that moment. So do not judge. And if you can ask yourself before you eat something, ask your body and let your body respond as if you would already eating as if you would be already eating thing that you would like to eat and see what it does to you before you actually consume something and if it gives you chills if it excites you then that is the right food for you in that moment. And yes. do not overeat. Do not over... Do not, if you do not feel... You don't need to feel that you need to finish something. Just let it be, let it wait for later. You must already. <laughs> that's, that's very helpful, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Is there something else? Be um, yes, I, um, I live surrounded by forests um, and I'd like to know what other sentient consciousness that uh, apart from the nature and the animals that I can connect to and what sort of um, beings uh, they are, please. We perceive connections to elemental consciousness. We perceive connections to fairy realm, to what you would call as Elvian as well. Wow, that's great. <laughs> We encourage you to, to dive into the earth, see the buckets that are in, inside, under the crust. So 
connect Sorry, with, with Agartha. Just Sorry, parallel I Earth inside your Earth. And that is what uh, you are mostly connecting with. There are many beings living inside your earth, so to speak, not really in the this physicality you are experiencing right now more in a dream land. And connect to the crystals. That were put there by Pleiadians. Crystal chamber. Is this in the storing your Akasha? Read your Akash through connecting to that chamber. And read about your parallel lives. This is accessible for you. Trust your intuition. Do not devalue what you receive. Do not devalue the form that you receive it in. Notice subtleties. You know much more that, than we would be able to provide for you to František in this conversation. D does that concern my thoughts that I have about um, going back to the spending more time in the mountains that um, I haven't been doing. Yes, as we have already shared with you, you are obviously attracted to mountains. So we encourage you to follow that excitement. Yes, I can feel you, you just um, you just poured that all over me. I, I really felt that. That was uh, yeah. I got I got that. Thanks. And you are not the only one feeling that. <laughs> there are more watching in what you would perceive as your future, and yeah. more feeling. And we thank you all for receiving us in this way. It's lovely to perceive you receive from us. Thank you. Is there someone else who would wish to ask a question? Sorry, were you asking if someone else would like to answer, ask a question? Yes. 
I just have one more if uh, yes. there isn't anyone else. It, it's um, becoming my, well, it is my highest excitement uh, to channel vocally. I know that I'm channeling through downloads and um, uh, writing and, uh, and uh, other forms as well, doing um, cards and uh, such like. But it's uh, becoming my highest excitement to vocally channel uh, another counterpart of myself. Um, could you give me an indication of uh, who and uh, and what uh, society they're from, please, so I can have uh, like a name or a symbol to uh, to focus on to to make the connection uh, stronger. It's not really the way how we make the connection stronger by identifying. The connection is made stronger by feeling. Feeling. So you don't, as we do not first identify ourselves through friendship, not in beat. The channel, it is usually serving you not to know where the information is coming from. So you are not putting your own preconceived notions about the being as the filter for the yeah. channel. Yes, I understand this, yes. So let go of the need to know what <laughs> we will say and who will say it. And allow it and trust it and know that it is mostly your higher self anyway us now, as you understand us, as you perceive us, is always translated to you through your higher self. Or let's say it's coming from your higher self and we are just giving it scent, the color feeling of us, the mediator. Your abilities to Manipulate prana will grow your abilities to sustain yourself by what you call pranic breathing, breathing. Will increase the more time you spend in the nature. Any more questions? Okay. We thank you for this interaction. It was a pleasure to feel you so close to us. We are 
start talking to you all. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely felt you very close to me. We are in love with you. You are love. Yes, I love you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was like the most, uh, oof, the most strongest I felt. Uh, like, oh, it was right here. Yeah, it was great. Uh, like, yeah, it was. I, I at the moment, uh, in I, I felt like I, I, I don't know, like, well, like I, I felt like uh, larger than the universe. I don't know how to explain this. It was. Yeah. Wow! So strong. So strong. It was. It was great. Um, yeah, I suppose that the more that I've uh, been doing it, the more I can relax now. My I've got such a hectic, challenging um, life that uh, I'm. I'm just learning to put everything uh, in its place, and um, yeah, enjoying it. Uh, you know, being excited by this is just uh, amazing. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. Stop mm -hmm. the Bye.